Good afternoon. Today is July 12, 2024. It's 3.54 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I received a word from the Lord yesterday, uh, Thursday, July 11th, 2024. Um, I don't believe that it's any coincidence that this marks the day of seven years uh, since my journey with the Lord, the day that my whole life changed. Hallelujah. For the better. I hadn't encountered Christ yet, but what happened on July 11, 2017 would catapult me off the broad road leading to destruction onto the narrow path, and there I will stay. Hallelujah. Only by God's grace. Hallelujah, for if we abide in Jesus, he will abide in us. That being said, uh, the Lord said that this word is for everyone who claims to be his child. He wants this title, a uh, polluted offering. I received this word at approximately 8.31 p.m. last night, Eastern Standard Time. The Bible says, test every spirit. The only way you're going to be able to test the Spirit is by the Holy Spirit. You can ask the Holy Spirit directly. Holy Spirit, is this word coming from you? Did you say this or is it coming from another spirit? You can do that in your own personal prayer time. You can also uh, meditate on the word day and night like we're told to do. And God, because hallelujah, Jesus is the word made flesh, will confirm or deny this word as well. This is what the Lord said. What is this you bring to my altar? Rebellion, discord, and strife in abundance while you pour out your tears and your petitions? How is it you withhold the very same mercy you are asking for? Shall you preach behind the pulpit of the very same forgiveness you have not extended? There are hypocrites in my church. How can you love me? whom you have never seen and despised your brother. And yet some of you say, how have we despised our brother? Why do you reason in your hearts? Do I not know what lives in your heart? I who formed you in the womb and numbered every hair on your heads, shall you contend with me on this matter that you are not guilty of such things? I challenge you to ask my spirit to search your hearts and expose what lives there, what lurks in the dark recesses of your hearts. Do you think you have forgiven simply because you said so? Do you think you have forgiven and let all offenses go? Shall I bring before you the ones you claim to have forgiven? Maybe then... Mm. Maybe then, when your face turns up in a scowl, your body tenses up and you passive-aggressively avoid them, you shall know your guilt. Maybe then you will repent of your hypocrisy. Shall you cover my altar in tears asking for justice? Do you not know when you are the problem? I see a lot of finger pointing in my churches, tail bearing and character assassination. But what I'm not seeing much of is accountability. You have done a great job of examining others. Now examine yourselves. Are you walking worthy of what I've called you to do? Sorry, what I've called you to. You have lost sight of your real enemy and turn on each other out of pride and offense. Shall I nurture your wounds as you throw salt on another's? Where is the justice in that? You ask me to make right what's wrong. Your perception is skewed when you ask such things. What you should be asking is for me to show you the part you played in your own demise. Why is it that you believe so many others are deceived, but never asked if you have fallen into that category? 
I'll tell you why. It is your pride that causes you to seek your will and call it mine. Pride comes before destruction and haughtiness before a fall. If your discernment is so sharp, why are you being led by your feelings? Why are you trusting your heart to guide you? Did I not say it's desperately wicked? Do you know what else is desperately wicked? Your hateful demeanor towards my child, your self-righteous judgments and false accusations. Do you think I would overlook them? Did you think I would overlook them? Shall you bring a sick animal, a defective sacrifice to my altar and expect me to be pleased? Judgment will continue at my house and I will purge this evil from your hearts and from my church. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. You are my friends if you obey me. Children of the Most High, repent of this evil and do it now. Ask me to search your hearts and reveal any legal rights. Anger is a mighty foothold for the devil. Many of you think you are experiencing warfare. When the truth is, you are being chastised for your hypocritical stance. Repent, says the Lord of hosts. I received the following confirmations. This is going to be from the KJV. The first one was Malachi chapter 1 verses 6 to 10. A son honoreth his father and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? And if I be a master, where is my fear? Saith the Lord of hosts unto you. O priests that despise my name, and ye say, How have we despised thy name? Ye offered polluted bread upon my al mine altar, and ye say, Wherein have we polluted thee? In that ye say the table of the Lord is contemptible. And if ye offer the blind for sacrifice, is it not evil? And if ye offer the lame and sick, is it not evil? Offer it now unto thy governor. Will he be pleased with thee, or accept thy person, saith the Lord of hosts? And now I pray you, beseech God, that he will be gracious unto us. This hath been given by your means. Will he regard your persons, saith the Lord of hosts? Who is there, even among you, that would shut the doors for naught? I have no pleasure in you, saith the Lord of hosts, neither will I accept an offering at your hand. Malachi 2.17 Ye have wearied the Lord with your words. Yet ye say, Wherein have we wearied him? When ye say, Every one that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delighteth in them. Or, Where is the God of judgment? The next one is Malachi 3.1-3 Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. But who may abide the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap, and he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Malachi 3:16 to 17 then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them 
as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Malachi 4, 1-2 For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as in oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name, the Son of Righteousness, shall rise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves in the stall. Second Timothy 3, 1 to 5. This know also that in the last days, Perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent fears, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Revelation twenty two twelve to 13 And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end the first and the last. Revelation 13, 9. If any man he have an ear, let him hear. The next one was James chapter 3, verses 5 through 12. Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defileth the whole body, and setteth on fire the course of nature, and it is set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast, and of birds, and of serpents, and of things in the sea is tamed, is tamed, and hath been tamed of mankind. But the tongue no man can tame. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison. Therewith we bless God, even the Father, and therewith we curse men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceeded blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine, figs? So can no mountain both yield salt water and fresh. James chapter 3, verses 14 to 18. But if ye have bitter Envying and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. For when envying and where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace.